Announced policy of January 6, 2015, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Corbison, is recognized for 60 minutes as the designee of the majority leader. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Before I begin, I ask unanimous consent that all members may have five legislative days in which to revise and extend their remarks and include extraneous materials on the topic of my special order. Without Madam Speaker, uh, last uh, Friday, August 28th, uh, the deputy sheriff who protects my neighborhood in Houston, Harris County Deputy Sheriff Darren uh, Goforth, was ambushed and brutally murdered at a gas station that I, my, my family and I use regularly that um, I go drive past every day. This good man was, I knew this good man. He, he was well known to my neighbors and I as a, as a, as a, as a model citizen, as a model officer. Uh, you could not ask for a kinder, gentler, better law enforcement officer uh, than Darren Goforth. He was murdered in cold blood, assassinated by, uh, by someone who, uh, whose motives are not completely clear yet, but in this atmosphere of uh, with, with this, uh, this movement of extremists, uh, people uh, calling on uh, individuals to uh, attack law enforcement, I wanted to call this special judge. Uh, I want to thank my good friend, Judge Ted Poe, for organizing this uh, special order today. We reserve this hour so that the members of the House can come down here today and express our love and admiration and appreciation for every man and woman who wears the blue and defends our peace, our liberty, our property, our safety, on the streets of America. His deputy Goforth was a 10-year veteran of the, of the Harris County Sheriff's Department, uh, a loving husband, a father of two precious children, age 5 and 12, and, and he, was just, he was murdered for one reason, because he wore the uniform, because he wore the blue to protect us all, to preserve, preserve our liberty, to, to protect our homes and our property. Uh, he was murdered in cold blood went to his service. I went to many of the prayer vigils in the neighborhood at the, at the gas station where he, was, where he was murdered, and I went to the service last Friday. Our minister, Dr. Ed Young, Second Baptist Church, conducted the service, and it was, um, it was overwhelming emotionally. It was overwhelming and also encouraging to see the tremendous outpouring of support from the people of Houston, from the people of Texas, from people all over America who showed up to express their love and admiration and support for the men and women in law enforcement who protect us every single day. It was an outpouring of support like I don't think the people of Houston have seen for a long, long time. Dr. Young's service was particularly compelling as he pointed out that the uh, only prayer that Jesus taught us in the brief time he was here with us on earth was the Lord's Prayer. And Dr. Young pointed out that the, the, the Lord's Prayer concludes, as we all know, with uh, deliver us from, from evil. For thine is the... He, he understood in that deliver us from evil, Dr. Young pointed out, the, the, the word deliver is actually means shield in the Greek. And Dr. Young pointed out that the, the uh, temple priests in Christ's time all wore blue as a symbol of the protection that they afforded to the temple, temple goers from evil. And that Christ's robe was blue. And it was appropriate that uh, men and women who protect us every day wear blue. And we need to remember that they're there to shield us from evil. There's no other job in America that you can go to work and might not come home because of the threat that you face and you're willing to step in front of a bullet or take uh, that risk on yourself in defense of your neighbors and your friends. And um, as Dr. Young uh, uh, pointed out in that uh, service, the, the good thing to come from this is that the people of Texas, the people of Houston, Really, the people of America, and that's demonstrated by my colleagues being here with us today on the floor, have all stepped forward to let the law enforcement community know that uh, we're there for them and we love them and we're proud of them and, and that we got their back. In fact, uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the members of Second Baptist uh, told Dr. Young and his staff that in uh, recent occurrence, shortly after this terrible murder of Deputy Goforth, he ha spotted a law enforcement officer filling his gas tank at a neighborhood gas station. As the officer was looking over his shoulder nervously, the, um, the member, of, member of Second Baptist walked up to the officer and said, Don't worry, officer, I've got your back. A concealed carry permit holder, and 
And uh, as so many of our constituents and neighbors in Texas are concealed carry permit holders, law enforcement knows that a concealed carry permit holder is their best friend. And the message I want to make sure that every law enforcement officer in the country hears tonight from myself and my colleagues and from the people of Texas and America, for every law enforcement officer out there, we love you, we're proud of you, we're praying for you and your family, and most of all, we got your back.